Madison Square Garden Boxing Incorporated presents the world's light heavyweight championship bout featuring champion Dick Tiger of the Republic of Biafra versus challenger Bob Foster of Washington DC. 15 rounds from Madison Square Garden. Good evening. I'm Jim Gordon. This is Don Duffy and we're just moments before the light heavyweight championship fight. A fight in which the champion is not favored. It wouldn't be the first time that Dick Tiger's been in this position, Don. Well, he's got a lot of heart, Jim. Uh, he's giving away age, weight, reach, and height, and we'll talk more about that later on, but he's certainly not going to give away any height. No doubt about the fact that Dick Tiger is coming in here. Everybody has said that Dick has got just about everything going against him except his heart. In just a moment, we'll start some of the traditional introductions of other famous people in the world of boxing. Right now, Don Duffy and I will take a good hard look at uh, some of the background of both these fighters. First of all, Dick Tiger, of course, the champion from Biafra. He's uh, been through the mill many times. The, the question is now, what about the challenger, uh, Bob Foster? What are Foster's chances of dethroning Tiger tonight? Good, say the betting odds. Not so good, say the experts. But Foster has fine credentials. At 29, he's almost 10 years younger than Tiger. At 6'3 and a half, he's almost 8 inches taller. He's got the reach 79 to 71, and the weight 173 and a quarter to 168. And he scored 23 knockouts. For the fight, as you can see, the challenger, Bob Foster, is on the left, and the champion is on the right. That's Dick Tiger. Jim? Bob Foster will be coming in here with just about as much advantage as anybody has ever had in this particular division, mostly due to the fact that Tiger has never been anything more than an extremely heavy middleweight. He has come in here light tonight. Foster, while he's a tall man of 6'3 and a half, is actually uh, just about the right size for this particular weight division. Nevertheless, the man he's facing across the ring and the champion, and he will always fight like a champion, and they're going to have to take it away from him, only in championship form, is a man that can take good care of himself. All right, Johnny Addy is standing in the center of the ring as we look at Bob Foster, keeping warm, keeping loose. And here's Johnny Addy. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Artie Idala and Tony Castellano. The timekeeper, Fred Abatello, County for the Knockdowns, Zach Clayton, and the referee for the main event, Mark Kahn. 15 rounds for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing from Washington, D.C., he's wearing red trunks. He weighs 173 and a quarter. The challenger, Bob Foster. From Biafra, wearing blue trunks, he weighs 168, the light heavyweight king, Dick Tiger. Tiger gets a tremendous ovation. Do not hold with one hand and hit with Is that clear? When I see you locked in a clinch, I'm going to tell you to break. I want both of you to stop punching immediately. Each take a step back without punching. Be careful of fouls, low blows, rabbit blows, kidney punches may cost you the bout. Now you're both good, clean boxers, and I expect a clean bout. Shake hands now and good luck. All right, they've completed the instructions to both fighters. The champion, Dick Tiger, weighing in at 168, one quarter of a pound under his weight for Roger Rouse. The challenger at 173 and a quarter, Bob Foster. And for the blow by blow, Don Duffy. Thank you, Jim Gordon, again. Good evening, everyone. The scoring here in New York on a round basis. There's the bell for round one. On a round basis, the scoring and the supplementary point system is used if the cards come out even. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. The mandatory eight count is in effect. If a man is thrown a floored times in a round, he is considered knocked out. And if a man is floored at or near the bell, the count will continue until he rises or is counted out. Now you can see the tremendous height advantage that Bob Foster has, but a very slim waistline. He's got eight inches in reach on Tiger. Tiger must uh, move to the body to uh, take that guard down. Foster has a good jolting left hand, a sharp jab. Moves straight ahead, lets the other fellow do the moving. 
Just moves around in a circle as a rule. Foster has two alternatives. He can try for a quick knockout. He's capable of it. If he does that, he gambles that uh, he might not be able to go the limit himself. He's never gone 15 rounds. Tiger has done it seven times. Foster's longest distance is 12 rounds, and he only did that once. Or Foster could try to uh, win the bout on a decision by moving. Tiger has also always been bothered by Emil Griffith and Joey Archie. Tiger has tremendous heart. His legs may be old, his heart is young. As figured, Foster keeps moving in behind that jab. Tiger is practically dwarfed under the bigger man, especially when he crouches. Tiger is uh, good with either hand, the left hook, the clubbing right to the body or to the head. Foster's best is his jab on his left hook. One minute to go on the round as Tiger finds his taller opponent. When Foster opens up, he'll do it with combinations. Tiger's good counter punch there. Seconds left in this round. There's the bell. Round two of this light heavyweight championship bout. Bob Foster, much the taller of the two from Washington, D.C. Dick Tiger, a lieutenant in the Biafran Army, defending his light heavyweight title. Referee is Mark Kahn. It's hard to visualize a man fighting another man who was eight inches taller, but Tiger did a good job in round one. I wondered if Tiger could punch up. He is doing it very well. Now the question is, can Foster punch down? Two minutes left in round two. While he's using the jab, Almost exclusively, he's using it sparingly. I'm talking about Bob Foster. Ordinarily, he pumps it in there like a piston, like Ernie Terrell. But he's got to watch out for Tiger's counters. Those jabs are barely getting in on the nose. No question that Tiger has led at the heart of punches. Both men are fighting flat-footed. Referee is up on his toes. Half a minute to go in this round. Ten 
60 seconds left in this round. Tiger putting on another surge. <laughs> round three at the New Madison Square Garden. Bob Foster making a mistake, the experts here think, in crouching and giving Tiger a shot at his chin. That's about the first time that Foster has thrown the right hand tonight. A good uh, solid right hand and a hook. Both good by Bob Foster. Tiger is usually a slow starter, but he's gotten off quickly in this fight. Foster scored that left hook while he was slipping. Two minutes left in this round. And now Foster seems to be coming on behind that jab. The jab is bothering Tiger. And Tiger is falling for head feints. Both boys are perspiring freely under the hot ring. <laughs> Tiger always dangerous. A minute left in this round. The ring must be very slippery. Foster looked as though he were ice skating a moment ago. And now Foster is using the one-two and getting away with it. He's sliding all over the place though. Foster has the reach 79 inches to 71, and he's making use of it now. Ten seconds left in this round. There's the bell. Round four at the New Madison Square Garden. Light heavyweight championship out, Dick Tiger. On the left, Bob Foster, the much the taller of the two, the referee, Mark Kahn. Tiger took the first two rounds, and then Foster started to come on. Foster's long reach, long height, sharp, jolting jab are making him a tough customer now. He's hitting harder with the jab. And he is still slipping. They scrape the shoes of Foster between rounds. Let's see if it keeps him floating. Now that jab is starting to work on Tiger. There is this possibility. Tiger fighting a man almost eight inches taller. Could very well hit below the belt unintentionally and cost himself. No sweat that time. About half the round is gone. Both men are perspiring so freely, they're making the ring circus, uh, the ring surface very wet, and consequently both are starting to slip now.
think Tiger hurt Buster, but he certainly bothered him that time. A minute to go in the round. How can you miss a punch over Foster's head? Tiger is down! Tiger down! Six, seven, eight, nine. He's not going to make it! Bob Foster is the new light heavyweight champion of the world with a dynamite left hook that caught gallant Dick Tiger on the way in and floored him and knocked him out. And Tiger is still in trouble as they try to get him up. Tiger is up on his feet now. And we are going to interview the winner. Here's Jim. It was a swinging hard left hook as Dick Tiger was trying to collect himself, took a half step back, and that left hook caught him just about as hard as any left hook will ever catch a fighter. Tiger went back. The back of his head struck the canvas, bounced twice, and as Don told you long before the count was complete, he was not going to get back up again. There was no doubt about it. It was the hardest punch of the fight. It was, as a matter of fact, probably the first really hard punch that Foster had thrown. He had spent the first couple of rounds. He probably had dropped the, last, the first two rounds to Dick Tiger, who came on uh, very quickly as an aggressive fighter here, didn't give Foster a chance to do much more than do some counter punching. But once Foster began this round, it was obvious that he thought he had solved things. He had also been hampered for the first three rounds by the very slippery ring conditions or the slippery soles of his shoes, whatever it was. Right now, as you're looking at it, just a general crowd scene in the ring. Now here's Don Duffy up trying to talk to Bob Foster. They're trying to clear the ring of some of the people who don't belong up in there. And we'll just continue to follow him across until Don can get in close to Foster. Dick Tiger has been knocked out here if you've just tuned in. Bob Foster is the winner. And the time is 1.05 of the fourth round. Don Duffy just shouts down to us. Don, I think you can take him now. We'll see if we can switch up to Don Duffy and new champion, Bob Foster. Here we are up in the ring with the new light heavyweight champion of the world. All set limits broken loose, Bob. We'll wait to hit Johnny. Give the, the time. time huh? One minute away, and five seconds of the fourth round. Winner by a knockout. And the new light heavyweight champion of the world, Bob Foster. 105 is the time. Here's Bob Foster. Bob, I wanna, I wish, oh boy. You got a lot of, Bob, you got a lot of friends. Oh, who was you? Hey, Bob, Hey, Bob. Listen, Bob. Let me come on, Bob. Give us a break. That's it, Bob. Raise your glass. Bobby, I gotta get an interview. Boom. Bob. Bobby. Bob. Bobby. Don hey, Duffy on the interview. Hey, the television. Hey, Let's go. Hey, hey, the time, hey, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Two oh five of the fourth round. Can we get quiet a second here, Bob? Let him talk. Bob, tell us, tell us how you set up Tiger for that punch. Tell us how you set him up. Well, I kept, I kept doing a lot of jabbing, you know. And uh, I was watching Tiger. He was ducking into a right uppercut. Go ahead. So uh, after, I, after I boxed around with him a few bit, uh, a little bit, and, and uh, so I'm ducking into the right uppercut. Just a matter of time, I just threw the right uppercut and the left hook behind it. The same thing over and over again. Did he hurt you at any time? No, he never did. Uh-huh. Uh, that was the first real hard punch you threw, wasn't it? Yeah, I was setting him up just for one good shot. Well, Bob, I want to congratulate you and good luck to you. What about the plans, Bobby? Uh, Don, I'd like to say hello to my friend and my pal, Ken We Strickland. don't have time for that, Bobby. But what are his plans? We are just going to wait and get a good rest, and then we go on and think about fighting anyone. Okay, good luck. And now here is, we're having a tape replay. Thank you, Bob. Here it is. For your convenience, you may be in the Foster, of course, is the taller of the two, and Tiger, who had two very good first round, the first and second round were wonderful for Tiger. Foster came on a little bit in the third round, and here we are uh, in the first part of round four. 
Now the end will come with startling suddenness. Watch for a dynamite left hook. Foster had been setting up and, and occasionally throwing a wild right hand as he's been doing. There it is, you see that left? He missed a right that followed it. And there was hardly need for a count. Tiger was down, I would say, for almost 20 seconds before he finally got up. Referee Mark Kahn did count him out, but he was in trouble, and there's a very happy Bob Foster. No doubt about the fact that Dick Tiger took the hardest punch that he has taken in his life. He's only been put down once before. He has never been stopped until Foster hit him. Foster is an extremely tall fighter, of course, although you might argue from the other side that Tiger was a small man to be fighting in the light heavyweight division. Foster one time was a featherweight champion in the Golden Gloves, built like Sandy Sadler back in those days. He used his six feet three and a half inches, of course, to tremendous advantage here tonight. He packs, nevertheless, surprising punching power into what appears to be a very slim form. His left hand has been known to be a good stiff jab. He's got good takeout power on the right, but that left hook tonight was as good as we've seen in a long time. Uh, Jim, a little about Foster's record now. He was born back December 15, 1938 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this was his 34th fight. He's now won 30. He has lost four and scored 24 knockouts. Of the four fights he lost, it's very interesting. Three of them were two heavyweights, Doug Jones and Ernie Terrell and Zora Foley, who, as you know, were all good heavyweights at the time. And uh, the other was a light heavyweight bout in Peru where he claimed he was jobbed to Moro Mina. He is the type of fighter, of course, that others have avoided over the past couple of years. He had actually retired from the ring. He wasn't satisfied with the way he was going, picked out of uh, retirement, and brought back strong. Jim, they won't avoid him now. They'll want a shot at that title. And uh, uh, Foster should be a, a very good champion. And uh, our, our thoughts should be with the retiring champion. I don't know if he's retiring or not, but he's been knocked out. Dick Tiger, he was a credit, no question about it. No doubt about the fact that most of the people here in Madison Square Garden tonight came here to root for Dick Tiger. He was the sentimental favorite. He has been, and it's an old and hackneyed phrase by this time, but very deserved in his case. He has been a credit to boxing. He has been a credit to himself. Dick Tiger, a magnificent champion. And tonight, he lost the championship to Bob Foster. It's been a pleasure for Madison Square Garden Boxing Incorporated to bring you tonight's light heavyweight championship bout. This is Jim Gordon with Don Duffy wishing you good night.